gel overlay on short nails without making them bulky. In this video, I'm going to transform these nails of my coach Vicky. Coming up! Hello guys, Anastasia here. I have a new product by Smart Manicure. These are color gel base coats. We're going to use them today. Also, I have a new client, my coach Vicky. She recently moved to Moscow from another city. She is a coach of acrobatics and stretching at the fitness studio that I attend. So we are doing this kind of tricks, handstands, stretching, all that stuff. So obviously she needs a really short nails and today we are going to take care of it. It's been two months now, her nails are really outgrown, but I have to admit that her previous nail technician was really good because all the product is still on, not much lifting or anything like that. We are going to start by filing off the old product. I'm using Carbide Bead with Blue Abrasive Mark. The speed is around 18,000 rotations per minute. Then I push back the cuticles with orange wood stick and we can see that she has a beautiful nail bed. Since she asked me to file her nails as short as possible, the only option that we have here is square, so we are definitely doing a soft square shape. Keep in mind that each nail may have a different length of the nail bed and you want to make sure that once you cover the nails with the color, the length will match. That's why you need to check it, because sometimes some nail beds might be shorter. That's why I recommend to take a look on the entire hand first, detect the shortest nail, and then use it as a guide and adjust all 10 nails according to this length. Because if you will start just randomly, then you may notice that some nails are already shorter, so you need to file them even shorter and so on. Meanwhile, I'm doing dry manicure. This is flame bit with red abrasive mark. Since I was sterilizing it for a long time now, the mark is gone, but I just want you to know that this is red one, which is medium fine. The speed is 15,000 rotations per minute. After pushing up the cuticles with the e-file, I'm gently buffing the surface with 180 grit buffer. We don't need to buff the area where I just took off the old product. Unless there are some leftovers, I mostly need to file off the outgrown part because we want to take off the surface shine. After that, I am going to trim the cuticles using special cuticle scissors. Or you can use nippers as well. After trimming the cuticles, sometimes I use this polishing bead at a very low speed, 10,000 rotations per minute, to buff the cuticles. Now they are all nice and clean and it is time to do overlay. First we need to prep the nail plate. I will apply dehydrator on the entire surface. By the way, did you notice, guys, these red rings on the nails? This is the line of the previous cuticle care, and once you see it on client's nails, please do not try to file it off, because we will only make the nails thinner. Just leave it and we will wait until it fully grows. Then I applied non-acid primer only on the free edge, and next layer will be a super thin coat of the base coat. First, I decided to use this pink color, but then we realized that it is very transparent, we wanted something more cream, so I just applied a tiny thin coat and cured it in LED for 30 seconds. And next coat will be thicker. We are trying two different colors on both hands, 
This one is called Tea Rose and on another hand we will be using the one that is called Nude. When you're working with short nails, it is super important to not apply too much product on the free edge or to the sidewalls, otherwise the nails may look wide and bulky. The only area where you are allowed to apply a little bit more product than usual is right in the center, where we have stress area. Cuticle area should be thin as well, because when the nails will start to grow off, we want this area to be super thin and natural looking. It is always better to do two thin coats rather than one but thick and uneven. Sometimes nails may have some imperfections or dips, like on this nail we have a dip from previous filing, and now I would like to show you how we can fix that with any kind of base coat. First you apply the color as usual, and now we can see this dip in the right corner, right here. The color is not as intense in this area and we can simply have this empty spot. This is what we can do. Do not cure, take a small drop of the product, place it right here and with a small brush slightly push it around, so we will have a perfect even surface. And then you need to tell your client to quickly put it inside the lamp. This is very important. This trick is very helpful but will work only if a client has small dips or some imperfections on the nail. If there is some serious dip or bump, then it is definitely better to use gel or polygel to fix that problem. After applying two coats and curing, we decided to add a super easy and fast nail art as dots. You can use dotting tool or you can use the tip of your brush. It is better to use gel paints because they usually have a thicker consistency and it's so much easier to achieve an even circle. We are doing purple dots on one hand and white and black on the other. I think they both look a bit different but still nice. And that's it, super easy and fast. Last step will be sealing with a top coat. When applying top coat, also make sure that you are not applying too much, but on the same time you are covering the entire surface. Cure for 30 seconds in LED and we are done. This is the first hand with a lighter color and pink dots, and this is the other one. This one is more pinky nude color, more like peach, with white and black. I think this one fits her much better, but on the same time, the other one is also nice. Let me know, guys, what do you think, and do you have clients with short nails? What kind of overlay do you usually do for them? Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials and educational videos just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!